Good morning, traders. It is August the 12th, 2023. I am Ricky Gaspard, and today's video is about setting up tick charts for scalping or trading, however you want to use it. And the way you get to the tick charts, we are currently on the one minute right now. So if you don't have it set up already, you need to go to your gear icon here, select favorite time frames, go to add a time frame, and right here you're going to select tick, leave it on one day, and you can select the tick chart that you want to use. It can get really fast on you. I prefer the 133 ticks, and then you click add. It's going to pop in over here, and I usually move it up above one minute because it's faster than one minute. But I also have the 75. That'll be your call. And that's how you get it set up on the chart. I already have it, so I'm just going to cancel it. And then once you set it up in the favorite time frames, and you click your one minute, and you go over here to your 133. Watch the speed of this tick chart. This is actually probably about one minute, two minutes, but you notice you have many candles. So what the tick chart does, these are actually orders. It's not volume, it's how many orders are coming in. And this would be selling orders or buying orders. Since I have it set to 133, you're going to get a little counter down here that's counting off, and every time it gets to 133, you're going to get a new candle up here. You can see that this these flow of orders is much faster than on the one-minute chart. So you're going to get faster crossovers. You're going to get more arrows. You're going to get arrows much sooner than the one minute or the five minute chart. You're going to get a broader range of candles to base your entry and exit on. So this is a one minute chart. And you can see we had probably 30 bars on the tick chart where we only have four bars here and we are on one minute. So you really can't tell what's going on right here on the one minute chart. So let's go back to the tick chart. And you can see on the tick chart, we have many more candlesticks and we can tell it's going down. And you can see we have a crossover confirming the down. These tick charts are, can be really fast. I mean, you can go to a 75 tick. Let me do that for you. And you'll see the difference in the speed. We have many more candles now. And you can see you would have had an easier entrance here than on the one minute chart. Let's go back to the one minute. This is the one minute. It looks nothing like the tick chart. And the, it, the tick chart gives you a much greater advantage when you're doing scalping. You couldn't have probably scalped this but on this tick chart, you could have. That's the biggest difference. It makes it much easier. It's a lot cleaner chart. But on tick charts, if you're currently using our version 4, you're going to have to download and install version 2 if you're going to use it on a tick chart. You may have to do two different setups in your system. One for, you can name it 133 tick or just tick charts. And then you, you can install this version two and save the setup, save the workspace as tick chart. And you can actually trade off of this. It's not really hard. Uh, it sure is helpful for me when I'm scalping because it gives me a much clearer picture than what's going on down here in the, in the one minute chart.
A tick chart can be tick charts that is can be a useful tool for traders, especially if you are intraday trading or short short term trading. They pro provide a different prospect on the market activity. It breaks it down in a bigger range for you. They can help filter out a lot of the market noise. As you saw on the one minute, they were all jammed together. We're on the tick chart. They were spread out more clearly, and you can really tell what's going on. It's much easier to spot reversals on a tick chart compared to a one minute chart. So let's go back and take a look at the one minute chart. You see how clear this one is? Nice up and down movement. And on the one minute chart, it's all cluttered. I mean, you can still play the arrows and the crossovers. It's still the same thing. It's just that it's spread out over a broader range to kind of clean it up for you. So we're looking at the stock Apple here. And I'm going to go ahead and reset the time on it. This is the beginning of the day. And I'm going to just say we're going to buy 100 shares. So I'm going to wait for the stock to tick down, which is orders. So we're waiting on the orders to tick down. And we're going to try to catch it at the bottom when it turns around. After I make a few trades here, we're going to go back and look at the one minute chart and compare if I could have done the same thing on the one minute chart. I still watch the one minute and the five minute. And I always compare the three time frames, the 133 tick along with the one minute and the five minute chart. So I base my entries off of this chart. But you have to be kind of quick. Like I took a trade there. Let's see where it goes. And it's going to go up much faster than the one minute chart. You have to wait, kind of wait for it to roll over. It's going to be much quicker. You're not going to have much time like on a one minute or a five minute. That was a big pullback. I did not sell. And I'm going to get out there. And I'm going to wait for it to pull back down. I may have been a little too soon. I haven't done this before today only live trading but you can see you have time right here to consider what's going on we're trending sideways so it may come back down you got to keep an eye on that moving average eight looks like i might have got out a little bit too soon So we will wait on the next pullback before we enter back in. We're going to wait for it to come back down and then back up, which shouldn't take long. And I'm clicking the buy and sell button on the other monitor. So it's fixing the pullback. You can see the crossover happening. We're fixing to come back down. And I'm going to wait on the next crossover back the other direction. Before I decide to get in, what you have to be cautious of is that these tick charts are fast. It's easily easy to get faked out. Like you see how it's acting right now. It's acting like it wants to go up and it could. So I kind of like to wait on a good pullback like back in the area where it was. And I watch these two moving averages in this arrow along with my other charts. 
It's easy to mess up. This is something you have to practice with. It's looking good. I'm going to wait on the, the reversal when the reversal is going to be those moving averages. And of course, the arrows. So we're probably going to go in right here. We're going to get a crossover and we're going back up. I would have liked to have seen a much greater pullback, but it's looking good. It's going up. There's another green arrow trying to come in. Hopefully it goes higher. It's kind of going flat on us. I can tell it's starting to trend sideways. Getting a little bump there. I'm going to get out. We're probably going to pull back here. And since I only have 100 shares, we're only making pennies here, a few dollars. So I got out too soon. You have to really, you have to really play these crossovers. So let's pause it right here. So we're back to the one, one minute chart right here. You can see it's just looked like a bunch of garbage. And now we're back to the tick chart. It's cleaned it up nicely. We're actually pulling back. You can see the crossover here. And I'll be honest with you, this is not easy. It's fast. You have to learn how to become fast. To play these dips, ride them up, trust them. You can actually wait on a yellow arrow that, or, or red, whichever arrow color you're using. But you can see here, we got a crossover, but we didn't get the green arrows until we became flat here. This would have not have been a good entry. This would have been. This would have been. This one is more, more what I would do. So tick charts are very beneficial if you're scalping. Let's just say you're monitoring the one minute chart and you're not trading off of the tick chart. You can, if you have multiple monitors, you can have this open on another monitor. And if it looks good on the one minute chart and you look up here and you see a crossover, that's confirmation that the trade you're fixing to get in has a, a greater chance of shooting up. It's another good tool to use and can be very beneficial to you. If you are a scalper like I am, this is going to be very beneficial to you in your trading. It's going to help you make cleaner entries and cleaner exits. You put it together with version two of the pullback strategy and you can play these arrows you're going to have a lot cleaner entries than you did just playing the one minute chart let's take you can see how this is looking now it's looking it's telling you where to get in and where to get out let's go take a look at the one minute chart again so here's the one minute chart it looks totally different 
It's not as clean and up and down in a long run compared to the tick chart, which is orders. So my advice is on your one minute, five minute, 15 minute, use version four of the pullback indicator. And I'll have them down below the video. If you want to trade the tick charts, then use version two, which is suitable for the tick chart. The reason why version four won't work on here is because this is an order based chart and it doesn't have volume as part of its script. So we can't pick up the volume spikes, but we can pick up the pullbacks. And the pullbacks is really what we play. The spike is only the confirmation of the pullback. But when you can smooth out the chart like this on a tick chart, it can really help you better uh, be a better trader because it's a much cleaner up and down than seeing one one minute candle doing this for one minute before it changes to the next minute doing this. We're breaking those candles down by using tick charts. So as you can see here, this was a pretty nice entry. It ran all the way up to here. Of course, it told you to get out here, but that's fine. That's not much of a difference. But it can also fake you out. Like it's, you can tell that we have higher lows and higher highs in this area but it can also cross over and the orders change and pull back down on you before you get a chance to profit. You have to really watch out what's going on with the candles when you're using a tick chart. You can get the crossover, you can get the green arrow, but it can reverse on you. That's why when I see a run at the beginning of the market, I like to see a great big pullback and I'll watch it. This is probably less than a minute here. I will watch it and try to catch the best pullback possible. Like this would be perfect. I probably would have clicked on this one and, and wrote it up in here somewhere. Of course, that's not much money, but it's 20 or 25 cents according to Apple. So this is a much better way for confirmation. I know we're all using the V4, and man, have we had some good trades, especially last Monday when the stock went from $375 to $60. That was a real shocker. And with our spike indicator and the watch list, to be able to have those stocks come to us, if it wasn't set up the way we have it set up, you never would have found that stock that went from $375 to $60. Even the following Tuesday, we had a couple of penny stocks pop up. And one of the penny stocks went up 148%. So the overall setup is excellent. It's working fantastic. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, I'll put the link below. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, click the subscribe button, like the videos, Click the bell icon so you'll be aware of my next video. And they're all instructional like this. We'd like to see you at our free market live stream every morning, five days a week from 6 a.m. to 9.30. Come on over and join us and see if you can make a few dollars. We've been doing very well in this very bad market. So have a blessed weekend and God bless.